Welcome back to the channel. Now we are going to see regarding uh, the concept of database management system. Basic concept, it's uh, database fundamentals. So before going to this concept, uh, we are going to see uh, all these general concepts like basic terminology, how the history of database and what is the different types of uh, database approaches, what is the file system approach uh, and we will conclude the concept with the uh, advantages and disadvantages of the concept. So first of all, before going to the concept, we have to know regarding a basic terminology like what is data and as well as what is information. The data is a raw fact or figures which is going to consist a lot amount of uh, data. Out of the data, you are going to extract the useful information. So to get the useful information from the data, you have to do some processing. So this is what the architecture is defining from data you are going to do the processing after processing you are, you are going to extract the uh, required information. So the information may be any kind of information like uh, height of a person, weight of a person and how much uh, distance from uh, one city to another city and how many steps you have to climb to get into second floor everything will comes under the data on, information only. So here you can see what is a the data here the data is a collection of individual facts where data is a term which is taken from the datum is it is, so the data can be a, any type of a data like a text image audio video animation everything will come under the data only but the way of representation of the data is different here so here the data is a form of a raw facts which is going to take and we are processing all these things whatever I have defined it is mentioned here and coming to the uh, types of a data here it is classified into two types of data first one is the quantitative data and another one is a qualitative data coming to the quantitative type of data the quantitative type of data is uh, it is a type of a data where uh, we have to calculate in terms of numerical values like uh, height of a person weight of a person uh, distance from uh, one city to another city and, and the next one is the qualitative data the qualitative data is the type of a data which we are going to define in the form of a text like uh, color of a person mm, these are the things comes under the qualitative type of data so what is the information information is a thing which is used you are going to gain from the data information you are learning which is you are going to gain from the data and you are going to gain from the no, uh, knowledge which is extracted from the uh, by performing various researches and all these things from data only you are going to get information by doing different processing operations the difference between data and information here the data is a collection of uh, facts and all these things the data here the data will be in an unorganized manner whereas the uh, information will be in an organized manner why because we are processing some processing operation here the data is a collection of facts but the information is a collection of a content and the data points will be a individual to un unrelated whatever the data we are having it may be related or it may not be uh, unrelated but the information will be a, a quite related one and the data may be meaningful or meaningless but the information will be a complete meaningful as we have done processing operation here the data doesn't depend on information but information is an depends on the data by because from data only we are extracting the information here the data view may come from various sources like uh, image video audio graph uh, like that based on that only we are going to process the things So how the database is existed? Whenever the first database came into the existence at the time, uh, there are uh, several challenges like uh, uniquely identifying the data and uh, duplication of the data like that. There are many challenges. First of all, when the database came into the existence, uh, first of all, at those times, uh, it took a lot of space for storing the information and it is very difficult to for uh, storing the data and it is very hard to uh, retrieving the data or extracting the data and it is very difficult to take backup of the data like that they have faced many challenges when first database was uh, brought into the existence later in a year of 1960s uh, ideas in the 1960s they have developed a database system which was uh, developed by IBM company it is called IMS information retrieve information management system 
here what is the thing they have designed is they have devised designed the database such a way that uh, hierarchical manner and as well as a network model in a hierarchical manner is uh, nothing but they have designed the database in a tree structured manner and the network mechanism is like whatever the data they have designed they have designed like uh, records in the form of parent record and uh, child record next in the 1970s in 1960s whenever they have uh, developed they didn't uh, develop the search operation but in the coming to the 1970s if there are multiple records you can uh, search the particular record based upon the particular uh, search criteria and uh, they have uh, also focused on in the 1960s they have faced problem regarding the space efficiency so here they have focused on uh, how to reduce the space and how to store more information in less space all those things they have uh, focused in 1970s in 1980s uh, various uh, programming languages came into the existence like uh, high level programming languages so they have um, uh, mapped with uh, front end programming languages to back end pro programming languages for better communication and in the year of 1990s uh, the world wide web came into the existence so in 2000s nosql is a database not nosql means not only structured query language is a, is a thing came into the existence so nosql is a thing which is useful for uh, unstructured data and in a 2010s uh, the cyber uh, the database with uh, Means, means distributed mechanism came into the existence and cyber security also came into the force so whatever the data we are storing in, in our uh, database at present uh, whenever the database came into the existence the storing of the data is based upon the two techniques like a uh, file based mechanism and data based mechanism based approach in a file based approach whatever the data we are storing we are going to store in the form in the form of files itself so whatever the data you stored in a file uh, you are going to store either in a hard disk or cd drive or a pen drive or any secondary storage so for extracting the data you are going to use some programming languages like cobol c++ for uh, accessing the files or storing the files or storing the data in the files like that so the next one is so so this is a university database in the university database you are having a few information like general office library hostel and account office so to store this particular information you are going to maintain the in the form of a files and to extract this information you are going to perform some operations and you are going to extract the information so by storing the data in the form of files what are the problems you are facing means you are going to face regarding a security of your file whatever the file you are storing in your system whatever the data you are storing in the files whether there is a security of the data or not you cannot say guarantee and the redundancy of the data isolation of the data data independence and there is no flexibility of the data so like that there are a um, few number of uh, problems that we have to identify if you are moving to the file based concept so to overcome that problems we came into the database approach database approach is collection of uh, databases where it is going to collect a related data only it is going to collect related data of a particular thing or an organization in a database approach you are going to have different uh, things like uh, it is going to store bulk amount of information and you are going to have uh, flexibility of the database and you can use uh, multiple ways and whatever the thing you are going to store it is going to sp uh, specify what type of data you are storing before itself so the information is a co uh, collection of related data whatever you are doing and whatever the data you are storing uh, the our database is going to maintain the time zone also in which time the particular record was inserted like that everything it will be stored automatically it is an automatic process so here you have uh, taken uh, some uh, fields in a database like uh, general office library hostel and account office so in this particular fields we are having multiple number of attributes also so here are what are the operations that you can perform in a database like you can add some new information and whatever the information is already existed you can see the inform view the information 
if you want to update some information like age of a person is changes every year right like that you can update the information or if you want to remove some information in that some remove some student details in the table like you can perform uh, remove operation or delete operation in a database and if you want to arrange the database in a proper sequence like uh, you can arrange the database like in a sequence order means who whose data birth is more and whose data birth is less based upon the year the, like that you can arrange the database as per our need like for example who is having more cgpa who have to come first and who is it should be uh, ordered in a form of ascending or it should be ordered in a form of descending based upon our requirement you can uh, arrange the database values so what are the components we are going to have in a database is the first one is data as well as we are storing the data and the hardware whatever the our secondary storage devices and input output devices everything comes under the secondary storage device next one is the processes what are the processes next is software whatever the software you are using for a database and what are the users everyone comes under the users casual users end users sophisticated users everyone people comes under the various kinds of users Next, database management system. Database management system is a software component which is going to manage the data whatever we are storing. So, who is managing the data means DVM, means database manager is a thing which is going to manage our information whatever we are storing the data. So, whatever the request we are pass, pass, passing to the database and whatever the responses we are getting, it is going to manage the things by the database management system. So this is an uh, architecture of a database where we can uh, see. So here we, user we are performing some query operation and as well as uh, uh, we are performing query operations based upon in you know, a direct database or you can perform query operations by the help of a programming languages like a Java, C, Python and all these things. In anyhow you may perform query operations the queries will go through the database. In database will not get directly come we cannot communicate with database directly by the help of operating system we are going to get communicate with database but what is the role of operating system in middle the database is the operating system is going to convert uh, the language from high level language to um, user uh, machine level language and it pass our information to database and it uh, uh, fetch the information to the OS and OS again converts from mission level language to user friendly user level language and it passed to database and it comes to the user. This is the procedure how database uh, work uh, process is goes on if we are have any query. So this is an architecture of uh, database system and as well as a file system. So first in a come, let's see the architecture of file system. Later we can see the architecture of database system. In a file system, we are having end user. We are the users and application program, whatever the application we are writing, either it may be Word document or it may, uh, it may be Notepad document, whatever the document it is. And it is an interface uh, through high level language. We are going to communicate with the high level language. And next uh, operating system, whatever the thing we are writing, we are going to write uh, with the help of operating system and op first our information is going to store in a temporary memory whenever you save that information it is going to move to the secondary memory so next it comes to the secondary memory so it comes to the secondary storage that is permanent storage means it is disk storage as file storage whatever it is so next coming to the database system uh, first one is end user so after end user whatever the application you are writing you are, you are going to for the application program either your application may be sql or plsql or post gr sql or oracle whatever the application is you come to the application next we are going to perform the query various queries we can perform in our application whatever the queries we are performing it goes to the database management system from database management system it goes to the os for uh, communicating from os it goes to the database where our complete uh, information is stored so uh, uh, these are the applications where uh, database is usually uh, database we cannot say database is used in one place and on, 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 on two places there are a vast number of application in present days database are using you can uh, go for uh, any sector like banking airline university cre credit card and transactions telecommunication in not what it is uh, database is going to use in each and every sector so examples of database like uh, these are the various companies uh, which is uh, having a databases working on databases and providing various database services like oracle microsoft sql ibm microsoft access and the dark open source database which we can use is mysql postgr sql mongodb kasada uh, sql lite etc so 
now uh, let us see the case study like uh, which database is better whether uh, commercial database is better or uh, open source database is better so both uh, uh, paid database means commercial means paid database and as well as free database open source database having uh, some pros and cons so let us see what are the things you have to compare while taking a database is first uh, open source database is cost effective we can uh, it is a less cost only we are getting for free of cost most probably so you can get a source code and as well as it is somewhat better quality and more secure and more preferred why because it is open source you can have a bugs you can fix the bugs and you can uh, say the particular bugs to the particular community for developing of the database so next what are the characteristics that a database is going to maintain first one and the database is going to maintain the data abstraction data abstraction means it is going to hide the storage details of a user means based upon the user permissions for example if you take a university database in a university database it is going to uh, show the information regarding only students for the students it is not going to show the information like faculty salary uh, faculty address these are the things which is not going to show for the students means whatever the priority operations will be given to the particular users the particular operations only will be displayed for the type of a based upon the category of the people the operations will be displayed that is the data abstraction next it is going to support multiple views of a data like high normal view hierarchical view it is going to support all the views of a data Next, sharing the data multi-user. So we can share the data for the multiple users uh, at a time, same time for processing the data. And uh, advantages of the database. What is the main ad what are the advantages you can uh, see for using a database? Like uh, first one, integrity can be enforced and uh, controlling redundancy. You can reduce the redundancy of the database and inconsistency can be avoided by using a database. And the data can be shared. Whatever the data you are having, you can share the data independence, concurrent access, recovery. You can perform. You can perform backup operations and recovery operations. You can uh, restrict unauthorized people for accessing our data. And uh, coming to the advantages, there are uh, coming to the concept of disadvantages. There are a few disadvantages like uh, complexity and. Uh, there is a uh, lot of failure occurrence, and the cost of the database is also more if you go for the. Uh, not free version if you go for a paid service you, the cost is more and for maintaining the database you have to maintain at the same time the hardware part also like RAM and uh, st uh, storage and all these things so this is the general uh, this is the slide explains the difference between the database system and as well as the file system so here the database system is a collection of uh, various amount of data it is you going to collect the data in a um, proper manner and coming to the file system file system also is a collection of data but in a, it is going to collect the data and it is also managing the data and in a database management system it is going to give the particular view of the data and it is going to hide the un unwanted data to the people but in a file system it, it cannot uh, perform the things it can show the complete data to the users so in a database system it is providing a recovery mechanism also but in a file system it is not providing the recovery mechanism it is uh, just providing the if the uh, file is getting crashed we cannot uh, our we cannot get back the data our data is completely lost that here we are coming to the concept of database it is a good uh, protection mechanism but in a coming to the file system uh, we cannot say it is a good protection mechanism so in a database technique they are going to use a various amount of sophisticated data for storing and retrieving also in file system you cannot uh, do like that so in coming to the database concept uh, there is a concurrent accessing of the data but in a file system uh, there are uh, many problems like concurrent access like uh, redirecting and deletion we are going to perform such type of uh, operations so the Concurrent can, may not happen in a file system, but why? Because multiple operations cannot perform at a time. So that is the thing uh, regarding uh, the difference between the file system and the database management system. So this is what uh, the complete general in information regarding uh, database uh, management system.